Hello, everyone. This is Jade Inspiration Masters Communication Leadership Training Institute. As a part of our inspiring series, we get this great opportunity to meet the difference makers, the entrepreneurs, the artists, and the people who are making a difference, not just in the United States, but around the world. And today I have an amazing difference maker here, and we'll, we'll find all about him. So I have Siddharth Nandiala here. Siddharth, how are you doing? Hey, Jay, I just wanted to start it off thanking you for allowing me to be here today. It's truly an amazing opportunity. I'm good. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Welcome to Inspiring Series. Uh, this is mainly to inspire people to do great things, some of the things which you are already doing. So we are going to be talking to um, Siddharth. Siddharth is an inventor and he's an entrepreneur. He runs a company called STEM IT. But instead of me telling you all about it, we are going to find out from Siddharth what STEM IT stands for, what do they do, and a whole lot of good things coming up from him. So let's go ahead and check straight with him. So Siddharth, uh, STEM IT, you are the CEO of STEM IT. So tell us about the company. What does it do? And how are you after this company? How are you making a difference in the lives of young people with this company? Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much for the question. So STEM IT is an innovative company that skills students on the field of STEM by taking them, handholding them from an introduction to electronics, all of the machine learning and deep learning systems. We're essentially creating the next generation of inventors, thinkers, and problem solvers. So essentially how we're able to create an impact in the lives of youth is by opening doors for them, otherwise not available. So what we're doing is we're essentially skilling them, showing them about the field of STEM and how much difference and impact that can be made through journeying in this field of, in this field of technology. Mm -hmm. So essentially we provide the students with all the materials needed, such as the microcontrollers, the components and the 3D printed materials. And video tutorials, they learn A to Z how to build it, code it, and invent it themselves, the different products, essentially making them the engineer. So they're actually learning these innovative and needed skills for the era of technology that we're in. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. So you have a product, you have a set of things which you are providing them, and they're getting these in schools, right? Yes, so we are in talks with school districts to bring it into their learning ecosystems and bring it into their curricula. Okay, and I think they have uh, video tutorials to attach with it? Yes, they do. Yep. Yeah, okay, so they come with the videos and they can make things out of it. The idea is to see that, uh, to give them a holistic view of, of the STEM view, and then they learn how to code every single part of it. Exactly, because we never know who's going to be the next Einstein or Isaac Newton in the coding world, right? Until they really right. do become that. So I think what we're really doing through STEM IT is opening up these these gateways, these doors towards creating and exploring the field of STEM to really open up the next inventors, the next creators, and, you know. Excellent. Excellent. That's great. So Siddharth, that is great to hear. So tell me, this is not the only one. I think you have invented so many things. So what are the other inventions you've created? Yeah. So some of the inventions that I've created include a band that's worn under the shoulder that uses gyroscopic accelerometer data from a machine learning algorithm that's been quantized through an Eon compiler onto a RP2040 microcontroller that can detect falls for elderly citizens and essentially alert caretakers and family when a fall is detected to send emergency help where you can also track their location. So in our testing, we're actually more accurate than the industry leading Apple Watch in detecting falls correctly. Uh -huh. okay. I recently published a paper about this research paper through the research archive of Rising Scholars. Another invention that I've worked on and I'm currently working on is a diabetic neuropathy diagnosis device. So essentially it's an application that by uploading image of your retina through a fundus camera, which any optometrist would have, it'll grade it on the official DR scale so that it's able to correctly classify and diagnose the level of diabetic neuropathy you have. Because the reason this is so important is because the level of diabetic neuropathy changes the prognosis because it's the highest reason for blindness in adults in, the, in America. Right. So it's very important to be able to grade it correctly 
which is what we're able to do because obviously there'll be human error involved in the traditional grading process where one doctor may say there's no level of DR while another will say there is DR. So that's right. definitely what we're trying to do with this invention here. Excellent, excellent. So both of those are amazing things. And um, the first one is going to be alerting that those are connected to the systems where we alerting yes, exactly. both, uh, both the caretakers as well as the family. Exactly. And the second one is very interesting because we are facing that's a big challenge uh, because the diabetic uh, retinopathy is big. The numbers are big. I think you yes. know about the numbers, right? How many yes, millions it comes into? I could just Sorry. pick up the older numbers and it was like looking close to about 7.9 million people. And then uh, so many of them end up with the DR. So exactly. that is, those are big numbers. They're running into millions. So I'm glad you're working on it. So, Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah that is really, good. really awesome. Both of these things are very essential parts. And I'm glad to hear that. So everyone watching it, we are talking to Siddharth Nandiala. He's an amazing inventor. He's 13 and he started his company, STEM IT. But along with that, he is working on some of the amazing projects. I just heard two of them. Uh, so we will be talking to more, talking to him more about it. So you want to share something because I think uh, you have been awarded. You've got several awards because of okay. what you've done so far. So we would like everybody to know about it. Go ahead, you tell us more about it. Yeah, thank you so much. So through my journey as an inventor and as an entrepreneur, I've received accolades such as proclamations from President Biden, as well as former President Barack Obama, Congress and the House of Representatives, as well as Governor Greg Abbott. And I've also received a proclamation from my city mayor actually declaring September 19th as Siddharth Nandiyala Day in my city. So furthermore- Congratulations, that's yeah, amazing. <laughs> So I was also the national STEM champion for America 2024. So that was a huge competition sponsored by Department of Defense, Department of Education, White House, Qualcomm, Broadcom, TikTok, Snapchat, a bunch of these companies that you think of. And they had actually declared me as 2024 America's national STEM champion. And they sponsored me, flew me out to Washington, D.C., where I was able to talk with a bunch of these people and actually network about my idea, my inventions and what I'm currently working on. Excellent. Excellent. So these are amazing. Congratulations. There is a whole list of things that has happened, but I'm so glad uh, that we have a system of recognition and I love to hear what you've accomplished. That is amazing. And congratulations again for that. Yeah, definitely. So, Thank you. Yeah, so you I just wanted to up. say on a further note, actually, I was recently on the world's biggest entrepreneurial reality show called uh -huh. The Beta Box. Every single year, over 70,000 applicants apply and only 100 uh -huh. businesses get selected. Uh -huh. So this year, I got I was one of those 100 out of 70,000 businesses that got selected to be on the show. I was actually the only minor on it. And <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it'll be coming out on Netflix and Amazon Prime actually very soon, I believe the 1st of September. So I just awesome. want to say that on a further note. Congratulations. And I I, I did uh, get get an opportunity to see you on stage at the start of week. Uh, just, yes. <laughs> just, uh, just almost two weeks back. So that was excellent. Uh, we, we could hear you there. And uh, so, uh, Sadat, why, where do you find this ideas? Where do you get these ideas of these inventions? The way I find the ideas for my inventions is really through having an entrepreneurial mindset. It's about having that mindset shift, viewing obstacles, opportunities, and ways to make the world a better place. I think that's really where my inspiration sparks. Seeing real world problems that I witness people facing is really what inspires me to go ahead and think of different creative solutions to solve it. Because that's what an entrepreneur is, right? It's somebody who tackles problems head on and tries to create change, make difference in the world. And I think that's really what I'm trying to do through my entrepreneurial and inventor endeavors. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So how we define entrepreneur is somebody who's jump off the plane <laughs> and they have to build a parachute while they are coming down. You know, that's, oh, that's urgent, that's important. <laughs> it's urgent and important. And you know what the consequences would be, right? 
you yes. have to build a parachute, right? And you jump off the plane <laughs> and before you reach, it, reach the ground. So that's an entrepreneur. So it's always a journey which is quick, fast, uh, very rewarding. So I'm glad you're taking that. Tell me about the idea. So you got some idea and how do you go about pursuing that idea? So what is the stepwise process? Can you walk us through that? Yeah, definitely. Thank you. So I think really where how I build these ideas, bring them into a reality is through using this in the engineering design process. I think once, as I was saying, viewing these obstacles as opportunities to make difference mm -hmm. is really yeah. how I identify the problem. And then through iteration cycles, I'm essentially able to create these products into reality, making mm -hmm. them as good as I can. So that's yeah. really what I'm trying to do through iteration cycles, prototypes. Obviously, there's extensive testing, hard work that goes into any product. But mm -hmm. through all of that, I'm essentially able to bring these ideas into reality and actually make it something tangible. Very good. And you have a team of people, right? You have the so team. I have employees two selling. employees, actually, who are helping uh -huh. me to connect with schools, nonprofits, institutions, as well as foundations uh -huh. uh, globally, actually, who are helping me connect with them to bring my kids into learning ecosystems because that's where the most impact is made, right? I think right. if we can tap into learning ecosystems for institutions and nonprofits as well as foundations, uh -huh. yeah, I think there's, there's immense scope and there's immense impact that can be made because you're reaching out to, the, to a more wide audience and you're able to essentially make change in lives of so many different students. And that's really what I'm trying to go for. Absolutely, absolutely. What do you think curiosity plays a role in this one? Curiosity is always important. <laughs> I think throughout life, in any any stage, any journey what, that you're going through, curiosity is always, always important. It's what drives any entrepreneur. It's what drives mm -hmm. any inventor. And curiosity, it's what takes people, it's what takes us into the next generation, right? I think if we if, if we look 200 years ago, it was the curiosity of the Wright brothers to think, why can't I make a flying machine, right? I think that's really what drives innovation, what drives progress. And it's really important to continue innovating and have that sense of inquisitiveness to go beyond. That's how humanity has come forward, right? If the birds can fly, why can't we, right? Really? <laughs> so, that's, that's great to hear. Excellent, excellent. And then... Uh, I heard about the AI summit coming up and yes. uh, you're planning to speak at this summit. You'll be there and we just want to find out what is it, uh, well, how do you see the AI going to be influencing the future inventors? Oh yeah, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So just some background on the event. I was recently, I had recently met the chief minister of Telangana as well as the IT minister and they had invited me to speak at the AI summit coming up very soon in India. So there'll be over 2,000 different companies there, including NVIDIA, Google, Qualcomm, all these different artificial intelligence companies that you think of, as well as I'm going to be a keynote speaker there. Other honorable keynotes include Saul Khan, the founder of Khan Academy. So what I aim to speak there is to inspire on the field of artificial intelligence. We all know it. Technology is our future. It's what's taken us to the moon and it's what's going to take us to Mars. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be speaking about how we can use artificial intelligence, harness its power for good and how we can use it to create change. So that's what I'll be speaking about, trying to inspire people to work on the field of artificial intelligence to make the world a better place. Right. I think that's really important. And it's what I aspire to do. I will also be speaking about some of my inventions and the newest invention that I'm currently working on, which is actually a EEG based prosthetic arm. So essentially mm -hmm. using your using the motor cortex, we're able to essentially get EEG data and understand what the brain is thinking through a machine mm -hmm. learning algorithm. And we're able to close or open a prosthetic arm for an amputee. So it's essentially how, just like how you close and open your own arm, an amputee would be able to do that with the prosthetic. And this can be made for only $300 compared mm -hmm. to the traditional $400,000 prosthetic arm. So I'll be speaking about my inventions, what I'm working on, as well as the future I see with artificial intelligence being harnessed to help people in medical care, in finance, in all sectors, revolutionizing it to make the world a better place and to help humans through our journeys. Right, that's excellent. That's good to know. Um, being a pharmacist, I like to hear that you have at least three of the things which are 
purely related to medicine or medical devices you're coming up. But I like the idea that you'll be presenting a whole lot of things uh, over there. So this is one of the things you're presenting at the AI Summit too. The, uh, yes. Yep. Yeah, that'll be great. And uh, so, so that also for all of the viewers, again, uh, everyone watching, we're talking to Siddharth Nandiala. He's an inventor. And as you heard, he is, uh, he's working on several projects which are AI based and which are going to be focused on changing humanity for better. So I'm really interested in finding out uh, one more thing that uh, are you pursuing some certifications for that, which is going to help you uh, with the process? Tell yeah. us something more about it, yeah. I'll chat a little bit about the certifications that I've received through working on the field of artificial intelligence and technology. I've become the world's youngest Arduino certified professional for running C++ on the AT Mega line of microcontrollers. I've also become the world's youngest certified by ARM, which is a company that creates chips that interface with artificial intelligence. I'm the world's youngest certified by them for machine learning on edge devices. I was also very recently, I became uh, the world's youngest certified by Oracle for artificial intelligence and machine learning. So those are some of the certifications I have as long with other machine learning certifications and a Python certification. Excellent, excellent. Congratulations. That was excellent. So ARM, Oracle, you have it all. Awesome. Because yeah. each and every one, yeah, how does it help you though? How, how is all coming up together to help you? Yeah, I think it's really important. Knowledge, I think knowledge is really important. I love learning and I think that's really what's helping me throughout my all throughout all of my projects, right? Because learning, having knowledge really helps in creating change, as I was saying, mm -hmm. because it's really what's driving innovation. It's what's right. driving positive impact and it's what's driving people to create and make difference in mm -hmm. their communities around the world. And it's having knowledge to make real difference, make real change. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, that's really important. And learning all of these different skills and getting certified on them also helps me to be proficient in these fields. So furthermore, as a challenge that I faced through my entrepreneurial journey, People often question, how is a 13-year-old going to teach students about coding and engineering? Mm -hmm. How is he going to be the one to be proficient enough for his company to skill the future? So I think that's what another thing, having these as social proof assets to mm -hmm. showcase that STEM IT is proficient. And it's really a mm -hmm. testament towards how effective our kids are and how we're really shaping the lives of students. That's that really idea. helps to show and it really helps to ease ease people in knowing that they're in the right hands of learning the field of coding and engineering. Exactly, exactly. So for us at Inspiration Masters, we get this opportunity to listen to all the young people, their amazing ideas which they come up with, inventions they come up with. So it's always fun for me to watch each and every one coming with completely something new, even if it's uh, which is completely far off in the realm. Uh, maybe 10 years, 10, 20 years down the line, but they are talking about it today, which is really very interesting. And I'm glad to hear that you're working on these projects. But the most, uh, the good thing is that these certifications, I like the idea. So everyone watching again, uh, the idea that the establishment, that the young people at 13, they can do things. That is most interesting, most inspiring. And uh, we we can learn from everyone, but at the same time, my idea here and goal is to see that to inspire the next generation of young people with the example of Siddharth, uh, who is working constantly on new ideas. So Siddharth, you mentioned three different inventions which you are working uh, on, as, and one of the ones, uh, the STEM. What do you think you personally are the most proud of, of one of your inventions and why? I think the invention I'm most proud of is probably going to be the the retina diagnosis for diabetic neuropathy because I see huge and immense scope for that because it's the highest reason for blindness in adults. Yeah. So I think really being able to detect that and diagnose it early, even before it gets to stages where it's causing visual disturbances would create real difference and impact in the lives of so many people, helping them to sustain their vision and stop the, progress the progression of the diabetic neuropathy. So I think that's really important. And I think that's the project that I'm genu that I'm genuinely most proud of mm -hmm. because the impact that it can create 
and how many people's lives can be changed because of it mm -hmm. immense. Yeah. Okay, that, yeah, that is a huge difference to maker because that is the sight, one of the most important thing. People yes. lose sight. Uh, that becomes, life becomes very difficult. So I'm glad you're working on it. And so glad to hear that uh, you headed to the right direction in fighting up with uh, the diabetic retinopathy. Uh, we do need a lot of research, especially the one you're working on would be very valuable because uh, the combination of the data and the better diagnosis, right, uh, with one unit combining the experience of thousands of doctors, that would be great. Definitely. So again, uh, one more thing I would like to uh, ask you, and for the benefit of all of the young people, because we have so many young people I come in touch every day, so I want to find out for their benefit, if somebody is interested and they are into aspiring inventors and entrepreneurs, what is your advice? How do you pursue it? So what's your advice? How can you help them? So to any entrepreneur or inventor who's aspiring to become the next generation CEO or the next generation of creating innovations, of creating difference, I think it's always to remember that innovation is the heartbeat of progress, taking the journey from imagination to transformation. I think that's really important. Now, what does that exactly mean, right? It means that throughout your journey as an inventor or as an entrepreneur, it's always important to keep innovating because it's what brings your ideas into a reality. It's what's making your dreams come into something tangible, come into something that is really yours. And I think that's really important to remember. Furthermore, a lot of people may be discouraged thinking, how am I going to be the next generation of CEOs? How am I going to be the next generation of inventors and change makers? It's always important to remember, it all starts with a dream. When Jeff Bezos started Amazon, he started it as an online bookstore. He never started it to become the multi-billion dollar company we know it, know it as today, helping people receive goods as an e online e-commerce platform. He never envisioned that, but he knew he had a dream. He knew he had a dream that he wanted to bring into a reality. And I think that's really something that you always have to keep in mind, that you can do it, that you are the person to bring your own ideas, your own visions into something that is yours. I, so I think exactly. that's something that I wanted to end with. Excellent, it's excellent. always important to remember that never feel discouraged because every every entrepreneur starts somewhere right exactly the idea is the darkness they die so you want to bring it to the light and who's going to bring it to light yes. it's you right why not you and why not now exactly so, awesome great interesting thoughts again everyone watching my young friends watching up there if you have an idea just bring it to light mm -hmm. right from idea to the product, to idea, Definitely, to changing yes. the lives of people. That is something what uh, we are looking for constantly. So again, uh, Siddharth, uh, it was amazing, very nice talking to you. And I'm so glad you're working on so many projects. I wish you all the best on behalf of the entire team of Inspiration Masters. I wish you all the best. And also we'll be watching you at the AI Summit too. We'll be checking Thank and finding so out much. more. <laughs> Yes, absolutely excited and delighted. Uh, you will be talking along with uh, Sal Khan and probably with Eric Schmidt over there, possibly. Yep. Right. So it'll be an amazing, amazing time for you. So I wish you a great journey, a safe journey. And along with that, all the best with whatever you undertake. Uh, keep in touch and also come and inspire more people every single time. Definitely. Yes. Again, Thank you. Uh, everyone watching be talking to Siddharth and he shared some great ideas and insights. Uh, we'll be watching him joining the AI Summit very shortly in India. And thanks for uh, joining us today, uh, getting some idea and scoops a year from Siddharth. If you're watching us on Facebook, do not forget to like so you don't miss any of these interviews. And if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel to make sure that any of the young people who are showing up on this channel and inspiring series, you do not miss their interviews. They are one by one. They're creating an amazing life for all of us. Again, thanks for watching. This is Jared Inspiration Masters. I will see you soon.